today we're making French onion soup and this is my version. I've got a little over five pounds of, of onion here. These are big, they're, they're big onions. I've got one cube of butter, so you need, you need the butter. I have uh, four, no, five garlic cloves that I'm also gonna slice up in the, in the mini mandolin because this is getting sliced on the mandolin. I'm not gonna hand slice all these onions. I'm gonna do them two ways so I can show you. Uh, I have some fresh thyme. I'm gonna grab my bay leaves. I have two cups of a nice, very nice, drinkable Cabernet Sauvignon. This is a delicious wine. And some people use sherry. I've done that as well. I love it, but I, I like this version even better. I have a quart jar of my home canned bone broth, this beef bone broth, okay? And I, I did a video for you guys. Uh, and in this four cup, a measuring cup, there's one can of beef consomme, and it adds a different depth of flavor, and then the rest is better than bone. So I'm mixing the two. I get pretty stinky with this. This is like gold. You know, it takes 72 hours to do it, and beef bones are not inexpensive, so I use it, and I use it sparingly, because I drink this too. So anyway, so that's the basis, a little salt and pepper, and um, we're gonna get going. We're gonna have to caramelize these onions down. They take anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour. And we're not gonna worry about it because we have other things we're gonna do. So let me bring you in close. I'm gonna show you how I get the mandolin all set up. It's got tons of safety features. So you can adjust, and I want these a little less than a quarter of an inch. So on the dial, I'm setting it at a four and Plus we have a safety feature here. Yeah, come on in. Okay, so I have my mandolin all set up, but I and I've been slicing away. Here, you're gonna push down on the white um, area on your guard, and you want to make sure you use the guard. And you, you can hold on to this. It's really a very nice mandolin. It's the nicest one I've ever had. And as the guard pushes the onion down, you're done. So much easier, look at that. And you've got these beautiful slices. Now, I am gonna probably cut these the other direction as well. Let's see if we can get one of these big onions on there. Ooh, ooh. I think we can. Okay, so I've got all my onions in here, and believe it or not, I mean, that, that's a lot of onions. My uh, cube of butter, I melted that down, and I've done this before, but I haven't done it in a very long time, and I just had ordered this for another recipe, so I'm super excited. I'm gonna spray a little duck fat down on my onions, because duck fat, mmm. -hmm. I don't know if you've ever tried it, but it is delicious. And I'll leave you a link to this duck fat cooking spray. Um, you wanna make the best potatoes on the planet, fried potatoes? Mm -hmm. Yes, or you know, oven fried, I should say. Okay, so you, you want this on about a medium heat. You don't want it to go too fast. You can't really rush caramelizing onions. They, uh, they have their own time frame. Okay, so as you can see, I've got all the onions down in here, and this is a 12 quart stock pot. It's about a third of the way full of onions. I melted my um, cube of butter, but that's not good enough. I am putting down some duck fat. Yes, I said duck fat. Spray those onions down with some duck fat. I've already sprayed them once, so spray them to go ahead and stir them, and here you go again. All right, and oh, it's a French onion soup is probably one of my very favorites. We're gonna put some pepper down a couple different times, actually. 
fresh ground black pepper and I don't think you can have too much but you tell me if you think you can have too much. All right, and now I need a bit healthy. I've got fine Himalayan pink salt. And this is a heaping teaspoon. And I will probably do a couple teaspoons right there. And I apologize for emails coming in. And we'll just stir this around and keep caramelizing. When it caramelizes to the point that it's kind of sticking a little bit to the bottom, all you have to do is um, release that with a little water or you can start using your broth, but I just release it with a little bit okay, of water. Okay, so this is what five pounds of onions cook down to. They're all caramely and uh, so once all the liquid has evaporated off and cooked off of these, then the sugar starts to kind of stick to the bottom. If I didn't have a non-stick pan like this that's amazing, it would change things. But now it's time to start adding the rest of the story. So I'm going to go ahead and add my bay leaf and my thyme. Absolutely wonderful. My consomme and my better than bouillon and consomme has uh, just such a wonderful flavor you, it, it's it's gonna change this soup for you so I, I would not leave it out my two cups of a Cabernet Sauvignon you could use sherry I wouldn't do as much sherry if you're gonna do that and now see how red that is crank my heat up a little bit and I'm going to add my, um, I have a Tadler lid on this, oh nice seal, so my Tadler lid, look at that, that that gasket is sealed right down on that jar, you got to peel it off, that's a good seal, so this is my bone broth, and that's a quarter bone broth, ooh, it's going to be so good, and we're just gonna let this cook, let this, and I may or may not, I'm gonna do a little taste test. I may or may not need some more stock. If I add more stock, I am going to add, I'm gonna add chicken stock because the mixture of the two is pretty good. So let's get a little tasting spoon here. I keep them right on the side of my stove. See how rich that broth looks? I don't know if you can pick up the color, it's very rich. So let's just get a little taste, see what we're dealing with. I won't get the, the thyme and the bay leaf yet, but I can get the broth part. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. That is so good, so good. Oh my goodness. Mm. I may have to leave it. It's delicious. And see how oh, decadent. So we're going to cook this down now. French onion soup is not something that you should be impatient with. I'm just going to tell you. We're going to cook this down, let it kind of reduce a little bit, and then we'll be ready for the next step. <laughs> okay, so we actually have a really nice soup. It's condensed down. I, I'm going to tell you, I cheated a little bit and I put some Thrive onions in there because the taste is so intense with the freeze-dried onions. So the lighter pieces you see in here are Thrive. I, I couldn't help myself. Uh, they're so delicious. <laughs> I was like, I want onion flavor. And they're, they're just white onions, but uh, for whatever reason, the freeze-drying process. So I've got this nice thick soup. In the oven I have um, three thick sliced baguettes buttered on both sides with Kerrygold butter. Now here's where I, I have to have the Kerrygold butter and I'm going to put it in my ramekin with my soup. I'm going to get ready to cut my cheese. Oh, 
it's gonna be delicious and I will show you the end result I'll put it under the broiler in the ramekin after I get the toasted bread and the Gruyere cheese on top I will um, I'll bring you back when it's all said and done okay so I've toasted off and very toasty toasty but it's okay I'm this side is not as toasty so I'm going to put the toastier side down in the soup it's gonna absorb and you want them really crisp and done the soup is phenomenal so this is what it reduced down to half it's beautiful and so I'm gonna dish up my ramekin and we'll okay I gotta do this left-handed right-handed I don't know some kind of handed dish up a delicious helping of French onion soup in your ramekin and you can use whatever oven proof ramekin you have I have my oven now went from 400 to do the baguette to um, oof, that's plenty of soup for me to broil so you want to leave a little bit of space so maybe I'll put a little bit more just for looks and giggles and so you want about a half an inch of headspace on your dish because you need room for bread and cheese. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna put these uh, toastiest side down oh, so they can soak up all the goodness. Look at that. Ah. Okay, toasty, toasty. And then I have sliced Gruyere cheese. Gruyere is a really delicious French Swiss. I believe it's French. Maybe it's Swiss. No, it's from Switzerland. <laughs> it's Swiss cheese. Okay, so I'm putting a solid two and a half ounces down on the top of that. Now this ramekin is on a baking tray and I've got some parchment just in case I bubble over, but it's gonna go in a 400 degree oven and when it comes out, it's going to be bubbly and delicious, and we're going to have French onion soup for dinner. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so this is our finished soup. I just took this out from under the broiler a couple minutes ago that, oh, you got a little crust of cheese on top with the, the baguette crouton, if you will. It's going to be delicious. Okay, so you want to cut in here. And I've already taken pictures, so um, I'm so excited. This is not oh, for the weak at heart. You need to. Oh. This ramekin is really hot, but look at that. You get a piece of bread soaked up with that. Oh, now my mouth is watering. Soaked up with the onion soup and now some cheese and this is screaming hot but I'm gonna give you a taste test because I can't wait the onion soup I've already tasted it you don't you don't have a strong wine flavor it is very it's got a very sweet back note because the onions have been caramelized for so long and cooked down they just lend such a sweet flavor people think about onions and think strong and you know I'm in a bite and all that you don't get that okay here I go <laughs> oh okay ready said mm. oh my gosh oh, I love all it right. I can't wait to see you next time I've got links to everything I used up above down below in the description and um, if you're interested in any of it and you have a question, please feel free to contact me. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And if you can't get a hold of me or it takes some time, go ahead and uh, go to one of my websites. My contact information is right there. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.